The letters ASX stand for Active Sport X Over, and this provokes many to a crazy drive. However, a crossover from a moderate price category, believe me, will not like it much. Mitsubishi ASX owes its appearance to marketers. They decided that a crossover as compact as a pack of biscuits should be present in the lineup of almost every brand. Mitsubishi is also not left out. True, I hesitated. The crossover was shown back in 2007, and production began only two years later. Mitsubishi ASX arrived in Russia at all in 2010, however, it immediately pleased with very competitive prices. There were no bright disputes around the design of the machine, but sales moved forward sharply. The marketers were right. By nature, the car turned out to be somewhat eccentric and jumpy. The legacy of the Dakar victories of the company affected, but in general, taking into account the price, the market perceived the ASX positively. The presence of a shortened Outlander platform also added solidity to the shooter, and it is customary to call it successful. The diesel engine remained for the Europeans. Three petrol engines were supplied to us, all atmospheric and four-cylinder. 1.6 to 117 liters, S, 1.8 to 140 horsepower, and 2.0 to 150 horsepower. The all-wheel drive version relied only on a 2.0 liter engine with the CVT. With other engines, it was possible to purchase a 5-speed manual gearbox. Well, a completely reliable automatically controlled clutch was in charge of connecting the rear axle. Let's make a reservation right away, the lease claims fell on the 2.0 liter engine although in general it can be argued that all motors are quite reliable. The weak side of the least expensive, but the most highly accelerated 1.6 engine is its demanding fuel quality. After refueling with left gasoline, you can easily rattle to flash the brains into the service. By the way, about rattle. Among the ailments of this motor, noticeable detonation under load has been noted more than once, which is considered normal. They also love 1.6 and 1.8 engines to taste butter beyond measure, so you have to keep an eye on the level. Moreover, in winter, a 1.6 liter unit strives to get rid of it in an unauthorized way, it squeezes it out through the dipstick and oil seals. This is a symptom of a frozen crankcase ventilation pipe. But if the vagaries of the engines are not critical, then the variator must be monitored in both eyes. Here it is quite reliable. It can cover 150,000 and possibly even more kilometers. But in difficult conditions, he likes to overheat, which is why the car stops driving. But you can ignore light jolts during acceleration, this is the norm. They say that this is how the torque converter is blocked. However, the owners of the mechanics should not relax either. The clutch burns easily, and changing it is expensive, working with parts will cost under 30,000 rubles. So far, everything is not critical especially since the company seems to have won the detonation of 1.6 by 2012. Mitsubishi fought during restyling and with the imperfection of an overly fidgety rear suspension, but the relatively low resource of the front suspension parts could not be eliminated. ASX is a little provocateur, he constantly demands activity. Perhaps that is why the category of consumables includes stabilizer bushings with a resource of no more than 40,000 kilometers. They themselves are inexpensive but the work will require investment. And in general, the wear of rubber metal hinges occurs here quite quickly. The front shock absorbers do not shine either, which often begin to leak or knock after 50,000 kilometers. The cost of a new shock absorber is about 7,000 rubles. In terms of electrical and electronics, no special claims have been recorded for the crossover. Yes, and he got a pretty salon. He does not like, again, frost. Plastic to beat and begins to sing. Pretty complaints dos to lost and bodywork. LKP weakly resists impacts, chips and scratches quickly appear. Rust can appear from under the rear arches already in the third or fourth year of operation. In a word, Mitsubishi ASX, although it picked up some of its tails after restyling, still did not become an ideal. Its advantage is still the price and peppy appearance. However, a car with non-critical mileage, equipped with a 2.0-liter engine and a CVT, let's say, 2012 to 2013, can be an excellent workhorse for a few more years. Body. ASX owners complain about the thin metal of the outer panels and the weak paintwork. Chips and scratches appear quickly, sand and gravel from under the wheels rip off the varnish and paint almost to the metal, and blisters may soon appear on the arches and at the bottom of the doors. Another nuance is the arbitrary opening of the fifth door. The button has poor tightness, it 
dies under the influence of moisture. Transmission. It is especially difficult for the variator when the car is under load or just in extreme heat in traffic jams. The car stops moving. It remains only to wait for the variator to cool down. Of the mandatory procedures for its maintenance is an oil change. According to the regulations, this must be done every 90,000 kilometers, but the owners, fearing possible malfunctions, change it almost twice as often. Engine. The sensitivity of the 1.6 liter engine to fuel quality is simple car does not start the first time. Detonation has been dealt with successfully by the manufacturer in production since the 2012 model year. And for vehicles in service, reprogramming of the engine control unit can be performed. The issue is also resolved. Electrician. Often there is condensation in the fog lights and rear lights. Fog glasses often burst from a sharp temperature drop, for example, after cold water from puddles or snow enters. Salon. Cases of skewed windows of the front doors and biting of rubber seals were noted. In winter, condensation drips from the ceiling light and forms on the inner surface of the roof.